Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, working on a Autolite 4100 four barrel carburetor, and I want to explain how the secondary works. 4100 uses uh, two systems for the secondary a vacuum system uh, for opening and closing the valves, and mechanical system right here, okay? Which also helps open and close the valves. So here's how it works. Right here, this tube here fits down into the uh, secondary venturi. Goes like this. And excuse me, fits down the primary. When the when the uh, vacuum gets uh, high enough into the primary, vacuum goes through this tube here, and this is a very long tube. Goes here into this hole here, into the secondary diaphragm. Okay, through here, and there's a little hole right here. See that, so the vacuum goes in there, and I'll pull this, uh, pull this diaphragm forward like this, just like that, and also we'll open the valves. Now, once these valves open, that creates a vacuum uh, to the venturi here, and uh, which fits in right here. Okay. So what happens is fuel uh, comes up here into the venturi and it mixes with the air via these uh, vent holes here. See there's some small vent holes uh, and incidentally make sure uh, these uh, blow through them or something make sure they're all clear. Now let's see where else is the... It, so the fuel comes from the main jets they're down in here in the float bowl the secondary main jets comes up here mixes with the air and then it comes out the little hole right here in the venturi. Okay? Alright, I hope that was probably clear as mud. But there you go. That's how the secondary works on the uh, 4100. I get this these questions a whole lot. So I'm also going to show you uh, an illustration uh, at the end of this video um, which will uh, might help you understand how this all works also. And incidentally, uh, some of these will have a check ball in here. You don't need to necessarily use it. If there is one in there, make sure it's loose. Uh, either loosen it up or take it out, one of the two. Okay, you don't want one in there that's stuck, you want your vacuum won't work. Which could be one of the reasons your secondaries aren't working. Alright, and there is an adjustment on your secondary here. Right here, you, the illustration sheet will show you how to do that. This one here is sticky, so I'm going to work on that. Anyhow, so there you go. That's how the secondary works. Thanks for watching. Okay, I showed you how the uh, secondary system works on a 4100 four barrel. And now I'd like to show you an illustration, which uh, hopefully will help you uh, understand a little bit more uh, how it all works in case you uh, have problems. Uh, right here is a vacuum on the secondary side. See this long tube? You can see this long tube when you take the top off and turn it upside down. Uh, this has a little brass hook that goes into the primary. Uh, not all 41s hundreds have this. Uh, some are a little different, but it's the same principle. As you open up your primaries all the way, you get uh, this uh, big vacuum right here, which uh, helps the diaphragm. See, there's, there's a diaphragm. There's a spring in front of it. Uh, the vacuum uh, helps the diaphragm uh, open up the uh, secondary throttle plates. Uh, also, there is some mechanical on the linkage that you'll notice uh, that, that also uh, goes along with it. Uh, this is your uh, main jet. So while all this is happening, you got fuel flowing in here uh, due to vacuum in your secondary when these open. When your throttle valves open in secondary, it creates vacuum in here and it pulls fuel up through your main jet into the secondary and uh, it mixes with air from these uh, secondary air bleeds that are on top. Uh, this one on the side is anti-siphon and uh, incidentally if you see uh, gas dripping out of your secondary when it's not supposed to be then chances are this little uh, uh, orifice here is plugged. They're very small. 
Anyway, the uh, air mixes with your fuel here on the secondary side, and then the air fuel mixer comes down into your venturi and comes out of this uh, uh, small hole here in your venturi and feeds your intake, and that's how it all works. Okay, hopefully that will give you an idea uh, in case you need to, uh, in case you have a problem. All right, thank you for watching.